the best possible Fortnite controller settings for chapter 3. Let's go. Let's start with video settings. First up, we got your brightness. Just make sure this isn't too low or too high. I personally recommend keeping this at 100% because that's the default brightness. Then we got color bind mode. Personally, I don't use this setting, so I just keep it off. Having this setting on really just makes your game look different. And that's pretty much the only reason why some people use this. Next up, we have your game settings. Make sure you put your matchmaking region to the server that's the most closest to you. Make sure you have your toggle sprint off and put sprint by default on. This way, when you run in Fortnite, you don't have to always click this button here. You can literally just lift up your joystick and it runs. Screen cancels reloading, keep this off and turn auto open doors on. Then we have your combat controls and everything here comes down to your personal preference except this. Go to your preferred item slots and make sure your loadout slot 1 is a shotgun. This way when you take someone's wall and edit it and clone them or whatever, the first weapon that you're gonna have in your hand when you switch weapons is gonna be your shotgun. And this is crucial to win fights so make sure you guys do this. The rest of the loadout slots are personal preference. By the way real quick, if this video has helped you in any kind of way please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with post notifications on thank you make sure you have your reset building choice on disable pre-edit option on turbo building on and confirm edit on release is up to you guys personally i use it and i love it it means that whenever i go into an edit all i need to do is select the edit that i want to do and then just let go of my edit button and it edits for me then we got your extra game options these don't really matter but what i have is invert view off invert airborne controls off turbo delete in creative mode on nvidia highlights off peripheral lighting off and tap to search on then of course make sure you have all of your replays off because those give you input delay then we're moving on to your hot scale which means your map and your health bar and guns and all of that i personally recommend keeping this at a percentage where you can still see them but you want to make sure they're small and not too big and for what you should keep off and on here this is what i recommend for you guys to do then we have your mouse and keyboard controls and you guys are of course wondering why on earth are we talking about mouse and keyboard controls in a controller settings video well turns out that your mouse and keyboard sensitivity affects your controller sensitivity i just recently tried this out on a video and it really is true and personally what i felt the best was just the default sensitivity so yeah make sure your mouse sensitivities are set to default then we're moving on to your controller options controller order on you can keep this off or on then of course make sure you have your build immediately on edit hold time all the way low and then for your slide hold time this comes down to your personal preference a lot because a lot of people don't even like to slide in the game and some people slide all the time so if you're someone who likes to slide all the time make sure you put your slide hold time pretty low close to something that i put it to here then if you're someone who doesn't like to slide a lot i would recommend you guys to keep it a little bit higher just like i do then make sure you guys are playing with your vibration off because playing with vibration on can cause your hands to shake and make them more sweaty then we're moving on to your controller sensitivities personally this is what i use i have my build and edit mode sensitivities at 2x and my look horizontal and vertical speed at 66 percent now this is a fast and high sensitivity and personally i like playing on this and i recommend it to others however it is hard to control a high sensitivity so if you guys are really struggling with this sensitivity i would recommend you guys to switch it to something like this so 2.4 build and edit mode sensitivity and 44 percent look horizontal and vertical speed i've tried a lot of different pro sensitivities out and these sensitivities that i just recommended are based on those settings so what the pros have used then we have your boost now personally i don't recommend using boost but i know there's a bunch of people who actually like playing on boost if you do like playing on boost then i recommend keeping it at 80 percent or so then next up we have your aim down side sensitivity now you want to make sure this is pretty low to make aiming a lot easier for yourself i personally play on nine percent so that's what i recommend for you guys as well but make sure you don't use any boost on your ads sensitivity then look dampening time keep this at zero and then we have the big question linear or exponential i explained what i think is the best on tiktok linear or exponential basically the most simple way to put this is that if you want to be a fast and flashy player then use linear but if you want to be more slow and more precise then use exponential one tip though exponential is a lot easier to control than linear but i feel like once you get used to linear and you know how to control it then linear is better than exponential by the way if you don't follow me on tiktok already make sure you guys go do that my tiktok username is at dims official then make sure you have your aim assist strength at 100 and then your controller dead zone make sure your left stick dead zone is set to as low as possible where you don't get stick drift then your right stick dead zone i recommend keeping this a little bit higher because using a little bit of a higher right stick dead zone makes aiming building and editing a lot easier for you to control so yeah i personally use seven percent for my dead zone on the right stick make sure you have your enable food controller off then here's my audio settings if you guys want to see them the reason why i have everything at zero percent except for these two is because i've heard that if you keep those at zero percent it gives you less input delay however i'm not sure if it works but i just do it myself next we have your controller binds and now i'm sure a lot of you guys know that all of this comes down to personal preference except for a few things that i'm going to be explaining now as you guys are looking at my binds make sure you remember that i play right hand claw so i hold my controller like this and i press all of these buttons with my index finger the reason why i play like this and a lot of controller pros play like this is because it allows me to keep my thumb on the joystick at all times and that's really important however not everyone plays claw or plays paddles and here's 
what I recommend for you guys that don't do that. I recommend you to bind your left joystick to a jump and your right joystick to switch mode. Those binds will help you keep your thumbs on the joystick as much as possible. Make sure you guys are playing on double edit binds. This means having your edit bind and your confirm edit bind on different buttons. This allows me to edit so much faster than if I had to press this button twice because you can learn to time this perfectly and when you do it's gonna be so much faster. I also have my select edit and my reset edit on these buttons here on the back and that's what I recommend you guys to do as well because these are super easy to reach with your hands. Now those were the two biggest tips that I can give you guys because the rest of these settings are really personal preference but here's the rest if you want to see them. Now last but not least let's talk about a couple settings on your account and privacy settings. When it comes to your social privacy settings make sure you have everything off except for can receive gifts and then your gameplay privacy settings make sure you have everything off here. Some of these settings give you input delays so you want to make sure they're all off except for the ones that I mentioned. If this video helped you please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with post notifications on and yeah it's been about him see you in my next video.